Welcome to a new vlog. If you're a frequent viewer of my videos, you've no doubt seen me build this spot welding machine that I use occasionally for building battery packs for my RC planes. I use this machine to create nice welding spots between nickel strips and the battery contacts. My battery packs do not exceed 20 amps uh, and that's only in short bursts but there are people building higher current battery packs and so it's important for them to be using pure nickel strips instead of nickel plated steel strips for making the links between the cells of the pack. The issue with nickel plated steel is that it has a higher resistance than pure nickel and so you will have a voltage drop on those links which will cause heating at these very high currents. Uh, both effects are something you want to avoid when building battery packs. For example, I found some results a guy published on a website and for the same length he compared nickel plated steel versus pure nickel strip and got around four times as much resistance and thus power losses on the nickel coated steel strip. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB.com who recently upgraded their offer so you now get 24 hours turnaround time and you can choose any solder mask color for the same price of just $2. Prototyping is now faster and cheaper so it's definitely worth checking them out. But since steel is cheaper than nickel, you will often find on AliExpress products listed as pure nickel strips but are in fact just nickel plated steel. It's hard to tell just by looking at the strip because they uh, both look the same on the outside. They're both magnetic, they have pretty much the same weight. But in this video, I'm gonna give you a few hints on how you can identify a pure nickel strip. First, start with the price. If you've paid $2 or $3 for your 3 meter long pure nickel strip on AliExpress, then chances are the product is not actually pure nickel because those usually sell for around $10 depending on the thickness and width of the tape. It's just the economics at play here, nickel being a more expensive material than steel. Sometimes sellers will be honest and specify it in the description of the product that it is actually made with steel and nickel, even though their title says pure nickel strip. So my suggestion is to read carefully the product description as well as the feedback from the other users while considering a low price, a big red flag. Next, you can do a corrosion test. Start by scratching the surface of the strip with some sandpaper or with a Dremel tool. This is to go through the nickel coating and expose the steel beneath if there is any. Here is a diagram of a nickel coated strip. We have a thin outer layer of nickel and then steel on the inside. We want to scratch that nickel to expose the steel to corrosion for detection. We then place the strip in a container with salt water We'll leave it for a few days and see if any rust starts to form. In my case, the water turned brown after just a few days and there is rust all over these strips that have been kept in the salt water. Rust is present especially on the sides of the strip because that's where the steel is exposed more and also where I've scratched the nickel layer which is uh, towards the uh, upper end of these strips. If these were pure nickel, we shouldn't see this rust on the surface, so I guess I should have read the uh, description of the product I was buying, but now I know better and I don't expect pure nickel strips for $2. The third test you can do is to measure the resistance of the strip over a known length and compare that with known specs of pure nickel strips with the same width and thickness as yours. You will need a high accuracy 4 wire ohm meter to do this measurement like I'm using here. In my case, I am measuring over 50 centimeters of this 8 millimeter wide steel plated nickel strip and I am getting 77 milliohms. You can also pass a known current through the strip, uh, let's say 5 amps, and then you can measure the voltage drop to calculate the resistance using Ohm's law. There are entire forum threads online on the subject, so it should be easy to find a reference value from someone who measured some real pure nickel strips and published the results. They even have these charts on the forums that can be used as a general rule of thumb of what is safe to use and up to what currents, but I think they are very conservative in this chart and are referring to continuous currents with minimal temperature increase. 
There is also a fourth method which is sometimes uh, mentioned uh, on the forums. It involves a Dremel rotary tool with a grinding head and you have to grind at the strip with a medium to high speed setting. If you see sparks flying away after just a couple of seconds, it means you've gone through the nickel plating and you're grinding the steel away which is producing sparks. If the strip were pure nickel, you shouldn't see that many sparks. Unfortunately, I do not have any pure nickel strips because what I ordered so far were all nickel plated steel, so I can't show you how pure nickel would behave. By reading on the forums, I have found a seller on AliExpress that is known to offer true pure nickel strips. Also, a viewer recommended a seller from eBay where he sourced his pure nickel strips and he said it's genuine pure nickel. So I'm gonna have a link uh, to those two in the description below for those who are interested in purchasing pure nickel strips. So there you have it. These are my four methods that should help you figure out if you have pure nickel strips or not. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you have other ideas on how we can identify pure nickel strips, please share them in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button to show me some support. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.